Hi chemists, welcome to the GSK Science in the Summer Materials Chemist Research Team. I'm Tara from the Franklin Institute and I'm so glad you're joining us today. You are going to become a materials chemist and help our research team create a new stretchy toy. But first, you might be wondering what does it even mean to be a materials chemist? Let's start with the name, materials chemist. What does that make you think of? Have you ever heard the word material before? Here's a materials chemist at work. What do you see in this picture? What do you think the person is doing? Good observations. You probably notice that he's looking carefully at a piece of some material that is a little bit see-through and it looks like he's bending or stretching it. You might have even noticed those glass containers in the background that might be used for measuring or mixing chemicals. So what does this tell us about what a materials chemist does? Great work! Materials chemists work with chemicals to discover new types of materials as well as create materials to do specific jobs. That means everything from the waterproof backpack that keeps your books dry, to new kinds of metals for lighter, faster airplanes, to the microchips inside our computers and our phones. Now, creating a new material usually involves mixing things together. So as chemists, we need to pay close attention to what happens when different things mix. Some things mix together really easily, like chocolate syrup and milk. But have you ever tried mixing olive oil and water? If you have, you probably notice that they separate into layers, even when you stir them together, because some things don't always mix well together. Other times when you mix things together, they create a chemical reaction. They change to make something new or different. Like when you bake a cake, you mix flour, sugar, eggs, and oil, and what comes out is something that is different and delicious. So as you work on your materials research, be sure to keep an eye out for things that mix, things that don't, and things that react to create something new and different. Now you're ready for the problem our team is researching. Our team works for a company that makes toys, and they want us to develop a new slime toy. They asked us to research stretchy materials and give them suggestions for the best formulas to make the different types of toys. Hmm, where do we start? Have you ever seen or played with a stretchy or slimy toy before? What does it look like? What does it do? Let's take a look at some different examples of slime toys and make some observations about how they look and feel and behave. Here's one example. What do you notice about it? I notice that it's firm and smooth. Let's see what happens when I stretch it. Wow, that's a big stretch. What if we pull it apart really quickly? It breaks apart. So if we want to make a slime toy like this one, how would you describe what the material needs to do? It needs to feel smooth and firm, hold its shape at first, stretch a long way if you pull it slowly, and break apart if you pull it fast. Here's a different slime toy. What observations can you make about this one? How does it look different than the first one? I notice that it feels wet and slimy and softer than the first one. Do you also notice that it wiggles when you hold it? Let's try to stretch it like we did the first one. It stretches really far. Now let's try to pull it apart fast. Hmm, it doesn't break like the first one. So if we wanna make a slime toy like this one, it needs to feel wet and soft, wiggle when shaken, and stretch really far without breaking. Here's one more example. What do you observe about this one? It keeps its shape even when I try to squeeze it into a ball. I notice that it feels a little bit sticky, but it's soft and it bounces back when I try to stretch it. Let's try the stretch test on this one. Here's a slow stretch. What did you notice? It stretches really far, but it bounces back. So to make a toy like this one, what kind of material would you need? Something that feels sticky, soft and rubbery, stretches but doesn't break, and returns to its shape after squeezing or stretching it. Well, it looks like we need different kinds of materials to make different kinds of slime toys. So here's your job. Use the GSK Science in the Summer Materials Chemist Activity Guide to do this experiment. First, do some research about what kinds of slimy or stretchy materials you might want to make. Test a starter formula to see what kind of slime it makes, and then improve your formula to get the best kind of material that you're looking for. Write down all of your observations and results in the lab notebook so that we can share it when we have our live lab meeting soon. We'll need your recommendations to share with the company on how to make the different types of slime toys. Are you ready to start on your research? Great. 
Thanks for your help, chemists. The rest of the team will be waiting to see what you discovered.